What's up guys, Frey here on the river. Beautiful summer evening and I've got the fly rod out today just to keep things interesting. Gonna cast the switch rod, see if I can't catch some nice fish. And to make it even more interesting, I've got this old fly box here. It's all smashed. Found it in the back of my car and this has got flies in it from four and five years ago that I tied when I first started fly fishing. There's not too many of them in here, but I'm gonna make this somewhat of a challenge video. See if I can catch fish on these. Hopefully some nice ones to get some good content for you. Gonna give it my best shot, just throw these flies all night. Hopefully catch some nice stuff. But before I do that, I wanna give a quick little announcement. So on my second channel, which you can subscribe to at the link in the description below, gonna be posting some question and answer videos where I answer your guys' questions to the best of my ability and try to help you guys out, share a little info that sort of thing. And I'm gonna be doing one about salmon fishing. That's just gonna be the broad topic. Anything salmon fishing related, ask me the questions in the comments below. And on August 1st, I'm gonna post that video on my second channel. If you guys also have questions that aren't fishing related, maybe just questions about me, or like I said, just general questions. I'll do a more general Q&A before that that I'll post in the next few days. If I get like 20 questions or so that have nothing to do with salmon. If you guys have any questions about me, anything like that, I just want to give you guys a chance to learn a little more about me on the second channel. So that's what I want to do. Just leave those questions in the comments below, please. I'd really appreciate it. If I get like 20 questions, I'll make the video. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys what's in that fly box. Then I'm going to tie them on, hopefully catch a nice fish. So I'm looking at these. I remember tying some of them and other ones, it's just like, I don't even know what happened. This is a rope fly for gar that's just all tangled up. So basically, if you don't know what that is, the gar's teeth get tangled in the nylon rope. And we're not gonna be fishing that, but that is a pretty, pretty goofy looking creation there. Not exactly the most attractive, but we've got a couple streamers, a couple, I think I did a video on this fly when I first started YouTube. This is like a little carp pattern. This is another one that could be a good carp pattern. It's a little too small to cast out here. This one I don't remember tying. I might have bought this. This is like a crawfish pattern that might be beyond my skill level there. I don't know what's up with that. But um, I got this thing. Clouser minnow. I might cast this today. It's a little heavy for what I want to do but I'm sure a pike would hit that or a bass. This is just a pile of black marabou, which you can't really go wrong with. So I have a feeling I'll be throwing this today. I wish it was a little bigger, but it's got some heavy eyes and that'll catch a fish for sure. This one here is just goofy. It's like a, I think I thought I was going for a crawfish thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. This one is like a sweet fly, like technically. For my age, it's actually pretty sweet, but it's like the tail is too short, so it's not gonna have the action we're looking for. We have this bad boy in the locker. This is like, I don't know what I was going for. I think this is supposed to be articulated, but like the action on that is like non-existent. So it's nicely colored though, lots of flash. Might throw this if the pike are biting. This guy right here, I think is what I'm gonna start with. I think I've fished this fly before. It's like articulated marabou thing. Got some fancy little beads on the joint. And I know that this will hook fish, but the problem is the hooks on it are just trash. And it also, I wouldn't doubt it would just fall apart on a decent pike. So anyways, I think I'm gonna tie this guy on first. So it turns out this thing is actually sweet. I mean, that'll definitely hook a pike. Um, I just don't know if it'll hold up, but I'm gonna, this is like my best hope right here. So I'm gonna try not to lose this to a tree and catch some fish with it. Oh, I've just wrapped it. Yes. What is that? It's a large mouth. I'll take it. 
Oh, wow. Impressive jump there, guy. It's kind of a tank. There it is. He wasn't even... You guys see that? He's not even hooked. Good bass, though. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm a little worried it's gonna sink too fast, but we'll try. Smally. Man, do they ever dog. It's not a dink. Hook just flew out, but um, oh no. There's the fly that was from the box. And there is a solid 12 inch smolly. No! You kidding? Just rolled something huge. Enough of that fly fishing. I need some content. What is this? Got a good fish hooked up here. Finally. It's fighting weird. It's not fighting like a bass. What's that? Oh, it's a good bass. good and that thing fought hard oh, his face is all torn it's a solid 16 inch river smallie there awesome fight on those guys just threw the tube on wanted to add a little more content to this video and i caught a fish